Hello, my name is Leanne Manzer. I'm a staff member at the York University Astronomical Observatory. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about imaging using the computer. And for this, I'll be using two different programs, one called CCD Ops and one called CCD Proc. So we'll be essentially doing the exact same thing on both. You get to choose which one uh, suits your needs better. So first, I'm going to be opening up CCD Ops. You press in camera, and under camera, you do establish comlink. So if the camera, if the CCD is connected properly, it'll pop up with a button saying establishing link with camera. Uh, once that's um, popped up, I want to point your eyes to a couple different things. At the bottom, you'll see it's linked to an ST9 via USB. It has a temperature of 12.5 degrees Celsius. This is just the temperature, the ambient temperature of the room and the filter is set to red. So the first thing you want to do uh, when you're doing observing is cool down the CCD. So you go under camera and then you click setup. In here you want to press temperature re regulation to active and you want to set your temperature to 25 degrees below the ambient temperature. So I said it was about 13 degrees Celsius so that would be about negative 12 degrees Celsius. Sounds about right. And you click OK. So on the bottom here, you'll see that the, the temperature is quickly cooling down. It's working at 100% of the fan efficiency. So for as it's cooling down, it will be at 100%. But once it starts putting, um, going to the, the temperature that you've set it to, you'll see that this percentage starts leve leveling off you want that percentage to be around 70 degrees, sorry, 70%. If it's any higher, the, the, cam the CCD is working too hard in order to maintain that temperature. If it's any lower, it means you can push the CCD cooler. And in order to do that, you just go back right into setup and you can push the temperature cooler. Um, so the next thing you want to do is actually change the filter wheel. So you go under the filter menu and you want to set it to red. So that'll take a couple seconds to, to switch and you'll see this filter is set to red here. After that, in order to um, align the telescope, you want to go into focus and start taking images with your camera. So for bright stars, you want to set the focus to quite a small number. So I'm going to do 0.12 of, of, a, of a second. So your frame size will be full. You'll have an automatic update mode, which means it'll go through the process over and over again, and you don't need to keep taking pictures. And you just press OK. And it'll automatically take exposures from the CCD. So um, this will allow you to actually al align the telescope. Once you, have, um, once you have this going and you've actually aligned your telescope you, and you've actually moved the telescope onto um, the object you want to image, you'll have to shut this down. So press close, close the image. You don't want to save it because it's just a, a focus image. And you want to actually grab some, uh, some actual images. So you go under camera, you click grab. You want to ex set your exposure time. Um, this will depend on the handbook that you're given, uh, on the object that you're given. I'm going to set it to about five seconds for this, this purpose. Um, you don't, you want to take dark frame none at this point. This means you're just taking an image of the galaxy or your stars or, or whatever you're imaging. Um, you want to take image size full. You do not want to have an exposure delay. And at this point, you can also take, um, do special processing. So if I set this to none, it'll only take one image and it'll save that. But if I set the special processing to auto grab and I click OK, it'll send me to another menu where I can set a directory. So I'll create a directory called 2070. And I'll save my image, image. And from here, I can pick the number of exposures. I'll set that to five right now. And the exposure interval would be how often you want it to take an, uh, an exposure. You want to set that to zero. And after that, you, you want to make sure that your type is set to a FITS format. This is a standard format for astronomical images. So you press OK, and you'll see that CCD Ops goes through the process of taking five, five second light exposures, and it'll automatically save it to your, your directory. So once you've done that, I'm just going to escape out of it. Once you've done that, you want to 
uh, take what are called lights and what are called darks. So you go to grab again, you want to set your dark frame to only, you want to have your exposure time the exact same amount of time as your image, and again you want to do auto grabbing. You want to take at least 10 of these images, but the exact amount will be specified in your handbook. Again, they're going to be FITS format. You want to set the name to darks, and we can go through the process of taking these images. This will allow you to remove a lot of the noise that's in your image. So after these are done, you want to now take your flats. So again, you go to grab. Uh, you want to take, set your dark frame to none. You want to set your image size to full. And again, you're going to do special pro auto processing. So as I described in the, the nighttime observing video, you want to take some flats. So flats involves pointing a bright light into the dome and then pointing the telescope towards that, the reflection of that bright light. Um, so first you want to take a grab and you want to look, you want to investigate how long your exposure should be in order to get the right number of counts, the right number of light coming into the flat. To the flat. So I'm going to pick a very short exposure time, so point four seconds, because I, my telescope's pointed at a very, very bright part of the sky. Sorry, by a very bright part of the dome. Um, ideally, you want to pick a, an exposure time of about one to two seconds. And especially if you're observing it at night, you're doing it this at nighttime, you're going to have something a little bit longer than the daytime image that I'm doing. So you want to set your dark frame to none, your exposure delay to none, and you want to set special processing to none. This means you're only going to take one image at this point. If you press OK, it'll take that short exposure. And you'll see an image that looks a little bit like that. You'll have these donuts, which are actually out of focus dust particles in the line of sight of the telescope. So in order to see the number of counts, you click Show Histogram. And you can see that the, the average value is about 37,000 counts. So this is an all right number. I would actually bring it down a little bit more in order to make sure I'm not over or under saturating um, any, of this, any of the image. So bring that down to about 0.3. Do it again. And now the, the average is about 28,000 counts. This is a good one. So now you want to take a few images like this, so you don't save that. You keep the exposure time of the one you found, dark frames none, image size full, and you want to do your special processing to autograb. Now you save this as flats, and you want to take the number of exposures specified in your handbook. And once that's done, you'll save all your flats into your, your working directory. So after this is done, you will you'll ha be able to take, or you've taken your images and you've uh, aligned the telescope well. You want to now save your, your images um, your, and your darks and your flats to your USB key or email them to yourself. And you want to make sure you close up the telescope and then you can leave for the night. So the next program we want to look at is called CCD Soft. So double click on that. Um, so you'll, it looks fairly similar, but now the controls are located under camera and setup. Everything you want to do, including focusing, taking images, uh, changing the filter, are all located under here. So first you go to setup, and then you want to connect to the, the ST9. So click connect. It'll take a few moments for it to establish a connection. So once it's established connection, you'll see the temperature is still quite cool from the previous program we ran, but it's slowly warming up. So you want to make sure that you have to reset that temperature down quite a bit. So let's go back down. Let's go to negative 15 this time. And again, you can see that the, the camera is working at 100% efficiency in order to get it down to that temperature. It should only be working at about 70% efficiency once it's settled at that, that temperature. So keep your eye on that. So we've cooled down the, the camera to about minus 15. It's sitting at about 70%, which is good. Uh, now you want to make sure you change your filter wheel to red. So it's sitting right there. Um, you're able to change your image type over here called image. Um, you can take a light, which is just a regular image. You can take a, a dark, which is um, a dark image. And you can take a flat field. So by changing the drop down menu, you're going to be taking a different type of image, each one. Over here is where you find your exposure time. Uh, right now we have it set to 0.2 seconds. 
Um, and then in, in the second menu, you can also fo use a focus tool, which allows you to take a multiple series of images. Again, you can set your exposure time to 0.12, some very short so you're able to expose very bright stars. And you just simply press take image, and it'll take a, a series of images for you. So right now it's set on flat field. So I'll abort that. If I go to light focus, it'll take a series of bright frames like that. OK, so if you want to save your images, um, you can auto save them to a folder. So right now we have it selected at 2070. You want to choose your folder. I'm going to create one called Leanne. You go into here, you click Save, and now you can change your file pre prefix depending on what your image. So say I'm imaging M57, I can call it M57. Um, and you can choose your starting number to be 1. And then you can go back to your images, and depending on what type of image, whether it be a light, a flat field, or a dark, it'll automatically put that extension to the end of your file, sorry, to the end of each file. Um, so once you're, you're done um, focusing and you have your telescope all aligned, again, you go to take image, you set your exposure time to be whatever you would like it to be uh, for your lights and your darks, and then you go through the same procedure that I described in the previous um, part of, of setting up your flat fields. So here, instead of um, bringing up a histogram, you'll want to use the value that's at the bottom of the screen right here, which will show you your average number of counts. So once you're done with that, you're able to um, close up, make sure you save all your images, and you're done for the night. So that's it.